Hey everybody, Nicole here. Sorry that I did not upload a video for Sunday. Just I need a break from making a video, so which I hope you guys understand, but um I just wanted to get on here to chat and about if you can have a cat as an emotional support animal. And the answer is yes, as long as, as you talk to your psychiatrist or doctor, whoever you work with, and you know. But usually you have to talk to them about if you need an emotional support animal or not. So, because usually when you want to have an emotional support animal, you usually have to talk to your doctor and they can, you know, make a letter or, you know, saying that you need an emotional support animal. So, Evie, will you leave my backpack alone, dude? Sorry. Evie's playing with my backpack, which he does. Don't know why, but he does. The only reason I want to talk about the subject is because you guys no, I have Evie and Onyx, and yes, they're both emotional support animals, but I have the paperwork and that from my, you know, doctor stating that I need them, okay? Yes, Evie's still learning. Uh, Onyx, you know, she just started her training. You know, about being an emotional support animal. So, because when you get an emotional support animal, especially a cat, they don't know what's going on with you. So, all they can do is they're be, be there. Emotional and you know support No, I do not take my cats everywhere with me, okay It's because I know my cats get stressed out when they're outside of the apartment so and the yes the office here where I live Knows I have them they ha got all the paperwork and they got all the records from the vets that I have of them. And so. But yes, cats can be an emotional support animal. And yes, Evie and Alex has an emotional support anim animal ID tags, you know, on their collars. And sorry, Evie's going a little bonkers right now because he's hyper. She's usually hyper in the mornings. But Evie knows well enough when I need it, need the support. And that is because when I had KK, she taught him what she knew and everything. So, but yes, cats can be an emotional support animal. So, Evie. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here, Angel. Looks like he's not gonna let me, um, 
show you his tay, but luckily I know where to go to show you the tag that they both have. Just gotta find it real quick. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that, but this is the tag that Evie and Onyx both have. It's on Chewy, okay? And yes, it's a lot in books, and on one side, it, it's emotional support animal part. On the other side, you can have their information. Like their name, where they live, a phone number that you, they can reach if your dads get out. So, yes. Eva and Onyx both have one each. And I know most of you probably remember Dawn, that has, is the owner of Chloe and Tango. When she moves near in the same complex as me, I will be helping her get the same kind of tags for Chloe and I, um, Tango, I mean. So, with their names, the address, her phone number, you know, since I know how to make, get those tags done. So, but yes. Usually, when you need an emotional support animal, you usually have to talk to either your psychiatrist, your family doctor, whoever how works with you, especially when you have, you know, depression, PTSD, bipolar, you know, because cats can be, you know, helpful if you're able to have cats. Just like with dogs, too. Because dogs can be emotional support animals or, um, you know, service dogs. But cats cannot be a service animal. They only can be emotional support animals that I know of, okay? I have not talked to my doctor, you know, but the doctor I work with knows that they're both emotional support animals due to the doctor I had before her. So, because I explained to her, this new doctor I got, because the doctor I had before her, you know, left, so I had to get her updated and you know, no, let her know that I do have emotional support animals for for a good reason, and I have, and she understands that I have the paperwork. But when I see her again, I will ask her if I need to get you know updated. Statements that I still need the emotional support animals, you know. Because I'm still kind of learning about the paperwork and everything for emotional support animals, you know. Because I never had to have statements that I need emotional support animals before when I lived somewhere else because I did not need it but I got it when I was applying for apartments that's when I talked to the doctor about getting statements and that about having needed an emotional support animal and he understood and everything and he knew I needed them so he worked with me about that but since it's been like almost a year, I will be talking to 
this new doctor that I have been working with for the last few months about if I need to get any updated, uh, you know, statements because she's my new doctor and I don't have the one doctor that helped me with the statements on that before. But, um, excuse me. Oh, so I got to drop my remote for my TV. But, and if I do get the updated statements and that about my emotions, poor animals, I will call the office here, see if they need it, the updates. Since I have a different doctor now that I have, since I don't have the one that first got me the, um, like the letters and that, stating I need an emotional support animal. So, yes, when you rent, you usually have to talk to your doctor and that, and that where you rent. Because not everybody will let you have cats. Because I don't know why. So, But luckily where I live, due to me having those statements, like, they're kind of like a letter in a way, stating that I need them. So, but I'll... Talk to your office if they need the update versions since I have a new doctor and that. Uh, but I usually work with the, my doctor and the office here where I live right now. So, and trust me, it's not as easy as you think when you're getting an emotional support animal. Trust me. It ain't really easy, cause you gotta work with your doctor, and depending on where you live, depends if they'll let you have a pet or not. And but if you let them know, you're gonna something from the doctors that is stating that you need an emotional support animal. They'll usually tell you what else you gotta have and trust me because I went through this back in July before I got the keys on that to my apartment so I'm telling you from my um you know what I've been through what you know because not all apartment complexes will let you have a pet unless you have a a doctor's note stating you need that animal. And some places do ask for, you know, an animal deposit and this and that. So so if you run so you run an apartment, you gotta talk to the office, see what you need to do. And what you need from the doctors and that before you get an emotional support animal. Now I don't know what all kind of animals that can be an emotional support animal. So just let you know I'm not a professional of emotional support animals, you know. I'm still learning myself. So, I'm just telling you guys what I know about cats being emotional support animals. Now, not everybody will agree about it. So, no hateful comments in the, down in the comments section. Because I will delete those, okay? But yes, you can have a cat as an emotional support animal, okay? Because I got two of them. 
And KK was an emotional support animal before she passed away back in January, guys. Because she's been, KK was an emotional support animal since she was a year old. And that was 12 years ago. Okay. But yes. Cats can be an emotional support animal, guys. But, you know, if you have questions about it, talk to your doctors and, you know, whoever you work with for your, whatever mental health you got, you got, okay? That's kind of why I wanted to make this video. Because Don's two cats are emotional support animals to her. My two cats are emotional support to me. My friend next door. Her cat's an emotional support animal. So, yes. Cats can be an emotional support animal. Okay. But me, Evie, and Onyx, you know, can... Me, the, the, it's one of those mornings for me, you guys. So just work with me. Right, Evie? Is it one of those mornings? Come on. Give me your hand, Joel. Well, brat. But, like I was trying to say, me, Onyx, and Evie. We'll chit chat with you guys later, but yes, cats can be emotional support animals. But see you guys.